I'm Bart Herbison, Executive Director of the Nashville Songwriters Association, today with the remarkable Victoria Shaw for the Tennesseans, the story behind the song. First time I ever heard it, I think I may have heard you play it before I heard Garth, is The River. Mm. How'd that come about? The inspiration, the writing it with Garth, and, and also a moment about the comments you get every day about what that song's meant to it's, people. That's true. I do get a lot of, of beautiful comments over the years. Um, it was funny, I just drove by the little house I wrote that song in, in East Nashville. I hadn't seen that house, I, I don't even know, the last time I was in East Nashville in that part. And I drove by it and it was like, oh my God, it's even smaller than I remember. And I remembered it being small. But um, I wrote a lot of good songs in that house. Uh, I met Garth at the Opryland Hotel during Country Radio Seminar. His album hadn't come out yet, but um, his managers introduced me. And we just became friends. And that song... I mean, that song really summed up where we were. Such dreamers, you know, really just inspired. We're still like that, you know? But we were so, such big dreamers and really inspired. And he came over and we wrote this song. And I've told this story that we put it on the boom box and he's sitting on the floor and I'm sitting on the couch and we're listening to it over and over. And he says, can't you just imagine a, a room full of, a stadium full of people waving their lighters singing this song? <laughs> And I thought, oh, my God, he's so delusional. People don't do that in country. And I learned such a good lesson. Well, I was going to ask you, so I think you've answered it. Did you know? He knew. Well, I, I thought it was, The first know, time I heard he you play it, I That's knew. Nice. I That's mean, it's nice. just one of those. You know, it's, it's, I write differently with Garth than I write with anybody else. And Garth brings a more folky, acoustic uh, style to my writing. Really interesting. We were both huge James Taylor fan, fans and still are. So if you hear that song, you can hear a lot of James Taylor influence on it. Matter of fact, we, uh, when James inducted him uh, recently to that CMA Hall of Fame, uh, we told him that we totally like, you know, just took all his stuff and he said, that's okay. He goes, I, I rip off everybody else. else. And it's not ripping off, it's paying homage. But we were in a mood, we were in a folky mood and um, that song has gotten so many letters to him. You know, one, that and the dance for him, I think are the biggest songs that get letters. For me, it'd be the river. Funerals, graduations people come up to me and say I, I came to town listening to that having the, you know that gave me the courage to leave my day-to-day -day job and come to Nashville it's audio inspiration that's sweet where did the idea come from just a little moment about you get you're in the house we're in the house Nashville, we're, we're in the house around talking yes. as songwriters do and this moment had to occur at two hours after looking at each other we were blank so blank and so finally he said, you know what, let's just take a break. What are you listening to? What are you listening to on the stereo? And I just bought this new James Taylor record at CD. So I put it on and we were just listening to it and it got us in a mood. You know, you can listen to music and it takes you somewhere else in your head. Right. It just frees up your brain. So we were listening to this and all of a sudden in the middle of something, he goes, turn it off. I got, I got something. And he literally picked up the guitar and just went, you know a dream is like a river. I mean, he had probably the first few lines just came out. And I was like, ah, okay, that's where we're going. Here we go. Although I did try to talk him out of vessel. I thought that was a weird word. And now vessel is one of my favorite yeah, words. Every works. time I go to the bank, I go, vessel? Well, because, <laughs> because that's one of the most important words in this song to me because it's... It is, but it, I thought the, it was a funny the, but word. But the listener then, that word helps you give it your own personal meaning. Obviously. I was so wrong, and I hate saying that. But um, I was smart enough to go, <laughs> okay, I'll go with it. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, it was, um, it was a special song, but it was to me it was just this little quiet folky dream song you know I had I mean but then you have to understand when Garth finally cut it he was supposed to cut it on a second record and then he called me and he goes I'm sorry Vic it just didn't work and I thought well there goes my chance to be on a Garth record and then the third album comes out and he did it there and he was so huge that right. people gave him the courtesy of listening it was a four minute song right. or over four minutes and not typically Garth no no it was so different and it had it been any other artist they would have thrown that record out but because People wanted to know what he felt, what he said. They gave it the courtesy of listening to it, and then they, they loved it. Well, we're all glad that they did. Me too. Uh, for the Tennessean, this week's story behind the song, Victoria Shaw, The River. I will sell my...